Sweetheart's Mouth again. Today you can call me Sweetheart's number one fan. Just kidding. I don't like her. She seems not very nice. Nah. Not very nice. Using her fans. Is she potentially a giant bug that eats them? I sure hope so. We're back with Omori. Yes. Today we will finish up, hopefully. I think we can. I believe we can. We did like the whole castle. We're gonna finish Sweetheart's Castle. We're gonna go get the passwords. We had two we were missing, and we're gonna go to this like underground zone where I'm like almost positive we're gonna fight her. We're gonna fight her. I feel it. We're gonna fight her. And hopefully I won't die too many times. So you ready to defeat Sweetheart potentially? I think so. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're Sprout Moles. Wearing the body of Sprout Moles. Is he gonna come this way? Which way does he? Okay. Oh jeez, there's so many of them. They all need to calm down. Oh jeez. Great, strong start. Very strong start. Let's go. Oh god, the horse. Should we horse? You know what? We're gonna horse. Come here, horse. What is happening here? Th Therese's party rolls initiative! I understand. So, head of the horse, the middle of the horse, aka a bow and arrow man, and then the butt of the horse. I feel like he should not be there. He's ruining the illusion of horse. But you know, whatever, who cares? Uh, let's, let's fight them. Should we just fight them? I think we should just fight them. Hopefully they won't be too hard. I think it's also important for me to do a little bit of... What's it called? Oh, this is Therese. This is horse butt. Horse head. I'm scared of Therese. I feel like that one is the most dangerous. Nah. Um... We don't. Just, just hit the butt, okay? Let's go. Let's see. I want to be prepared for the next battle, you know? I've been kind of underleveled until that one time. I leveled. I like this background of the grass and the, the bricks. Look, this cute. It was a moving attack? It winnie. How do people feel about horses? Horses are very po- Oh, there goes Therese. Horses are very popular, but are they good? Debatable. I feel like that's gonna hurt some horse girl's feelings. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be controversial, I suppose. I'll do a rebound again, whatever, who cares. Horses! Oh, it's a dull attack, dang it. Horses are... They can be majestic. I still think they look like kind of spiders, so I don't know. Anything that's spider-ish, I have a hard time with, you know? Oh, jeez. Aubrey really went at it, didn't she? Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Eh? That wasn't too bad at all. We're growing. This is good. I like to see this. All right. Well, he wasn't. He wasn't what I thought. He wasn't what I thought. But that's okay. Uh, let's uh, not fight you. I forgot there isn't a way to get up there. Okay. Just. Okay. Thank you. Please move. All right. Uh. Oh. Okay. I guess they don't chase after you too much. There's the one we need, and eh? that one. How is it so convoluted? Um, what's here? What is this? Oh, wait, hold on. What is this? No one has anything to say to me? Okay, well, fine. Okay, do it, Kel. Oh, that was kind of far, huh? Um, hold on, I'll go down. I, I don't want to do the trap door yet, right? It feels too soon or something. Okay. Then let's hit this one. There's so much here. There's so much here! What is this? Just a rose bush? Okay. Well, first, what's this? Tomato! Sometimes I can't tell if things are background things or if they mean something. Let's go here. What's down here? I'm so curious. Oh no. The bears! Oh, oh no. 
Oh my god, there are so many bears. Okay, uh, not today, Satan. We'll come back to that later. I, I uh, don't like that. Hello, Helen, the calamitous. There are four passwords. Oh, okay, we know. Okay, we know. Oh, this is the fourth one. Ready. But, ugh, I'm supposed to hold on to this super secret password and everything, right? But, like, it's about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry that I've started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? They should really start providing food to the guards around here. And, like, what kind of password is donut any- Okay. Thanks. Sweet something filled donut. Maybe it's jelly. Jam? Strawberries? As in, like, that stupid pet name? That weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Sweet jelly filled donut? I don't know. Please! That's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. They were always walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names like that back and forth. Saying things like, why won't you ask me to marry you yet? And I'm sorry my friends don't approve of this relationship. All the time. Ugh, so annoying. I like Helen. <laughs> but whatever. I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords with those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. Hmm, that's right. Pity me if you want. See if I care. Here I am, trapped here in this lonely little corner of the garden, guarding the word donut, of all things. Jeez Louise. I like Helen. I like Helen. Alright, well... You know what? Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna... We're gonna bear. We're gonna bear, and we're probably gonna die. And then we'll progress. I'm so curious about the bear zone, but... I don't think I'm gonna come out of the live, so BRB. <laughs> All right, here we go, friends. Will you push the button? Do you want to release the creatures? Yes. Are you absolutely sure? Yes. Ah! 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 Oh, this is real bad, isn't it? I thought I... I don't know what I thought. Not this. You have to fight them. You cannot escape without fighting them, ne? At least one of them. Because if you... They block... They block. Oh, no. What's... You know, we're strong. We're strong. What if we do the thing? What, what if we do the thing? What if, though? We died that last time. Well, we didn't die. I, oh, God. The other thing, too, is even if we get out of this... Like, let's say we defeat one, but it almost kills us. Uh, then what? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like... We still have to get out of here. And it seems like that will be difficult. Right? This might be useless, but I want to defeat one of the bears. We have to get revenge for the last time. Oh god. This is impossible, man. This is not where we're at. This is a thing you come back when you have more level. I think so, man. Okay, here we are, friends. So, that never happened. I, I want to talk about it. I have to not be. I have to be killed. I think we can come back and do it, just like the other bear. I do, th ooh, I do think. Oh, it's there. Couldn't even see it from where we were. Jeez. Okay. One down. More to go. There's so many tea sets. Oh, there's two. Oh, okay. Good, good job. They're right there. You see them? What did he call her? I don't remember. Oop, 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 oop. I feel like it was jelly. Right? But, you know, whatever. There's no fun in guessing. We should just do it. We can get this too. What is this? Lemonade. Okay. Easy peasy. What do you have to say? Who are you? Brian the Distinguished. Okay, we know. Yep. Yep. Oh, the second floor. Oh, yeah, that's right. You went into the password, eh? Not so fast there, buddy. I gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you really are one of us highly intelligent and majestic creatures? 
You think I ever spilled a password to a potential spy? Ha! Don't make me laugh. If you're so sure that you're a sprout mole, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what- Oh, God. Sweetheart? Survival. Sweetheart? Survival. Tofu! There's two tofu! Oh. Hmm. I was thinking about tofu. Dang it! But... You know what? You're right. I should absolutely be thinking about sweetheart. Perhaps you're even more of a sprout than me. I feel like I should have said survival, right? But whatever. I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of sprout moles out there. Now... Lean in closer. The password I have been trusted with is jelly. Sweet jelly filled donut. I like that. You got that. Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Thanks, Brian. I appreciate you, Brian. Okay. Here we go. We ready. An impressive statue of sweetheart casts a discomforting shadow. We know. Okay, here we go. We have the password. Sweet jelly filled donut. You said sweet jelly filled donut. Hmm. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Let's go. All this. Wait, Aubrey. Do your thing, girl. Did you hear that? What the heck was that? Don't go, don't go, don't go, Are you heard that? The music stopped. Oh no. What is that? Yeah, bye. What is that? Hurry, get all the money as fast as you can. There's a hole. Hold on. What's this? Dear sweetheart, I love you so much. Let us have kids and spend the rest of our lives together. They're singing. I would like that very much. Thank you. Unopened presents are littered across the floor. Buckets of paint! Paint. Oh, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. This is setting up the mood and it spooks me. Well, it's not really spooks. It's more like what is going to happen. The tension is rising. Got some choice good for sale, patron. Oh dear. Oh jeez, I think I lost some more of these. I have concern. I have concern. I have concerns. I don't want 11, maybe like five of these. Okay. Um, just one or two more. Pickles, would you like to eat some? This is a boss. <laughs> This is a boss. This is a boss. Should I go back and save? What is that? We're not going to talk about that? Lovely sweetheart, you are my love. Please visit my home. It is ready for you. Why did we hear them singing before? And now we don't. I cannot get over to you. What? I'm dumb. What did I think was gonna happen, huh? I don't know. I have no answer. Sweetheart, you are my queen. I love and appreciate everything that you do that more than anything. Please respond. They sing. <gasps> There's a save. Oh, bless. Thank you, game. Thank you. Oh, no, we already did. Okay. I was like, should I go back? I'm getting so nervous, but we don't have to. We can't save. Let's do this. I love the sprout moles. I think they're very cute. Oh. This is a boss. We finally made our way out. 
Whoa, what's with all these decorations? It looks like someone's about to get married. Yeah, that's why they were singing that song. Meh. How is this gonna go? Right? Uh-oh, the show's about to start. Let's hide. Is so hiding behind chairs? Is that how we're doing? There's no one here, except for us. You know what I was thinking? I forgot. Oh, hello, what's our friend? What's his name? Oh, Mike. Right, whatever. What I was thinking the other night, the person in the elevator, we don't know who it is. Was that, who do you think it was? Had like a pink coat. Do you think it was Space Boyfriend? No, what is his name? Captain Space Boy? Do you think he like went to talk to her? Or do you think it's a different person? I think it's a human. It just feels like maybe that's going to be more significant or something. That person came or something. Welcome all, welcome all. I didn't forget. It's my... Today is the most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode. It has been a splendor for us, friend. <laughs> Thank you all for your viewership. For as long as we have been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved Sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, Sweetheart was unable to find her one true love. But this time, we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. Please welcome to the aisle. Sweetheart's perfect suitor. No one's here. Oh, they are here. They're all just in the chair. A cake. Is she marrying herself? Is she marrying herself? Yes, it is true. You've, now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself. Ah. That's a lot of laughing. Silence. Okay. Ahem. Let us begin the ceremony. Okay. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Lapse. Sweetheart's marrying herself. That's so lame. Don't laugh, Cal. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Me too. Although this this makes me think about in Japan. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it has a name. But there's a lot of women who are doing this. Where it's not so much they're marrying themselves, but they could not find a partner, and they're older, and they have money. I mean, good for them. So they put on. It's like. I don't think they call it marrying themselves. I don't know what it's called. But they have like a full on wedding ceremony. But they, and they wear a dress and everything, but they don't have a groom or anybody. And it's just kind of like a party for them. Like, I guess that's more fancy kind of. You're getting what you wanted, even if maybe you don't have the partner or something. I can't, I'm on the fence. When I first heard it, it made me feel so sad. But now I'm on the fence about it. Because it's like, if they always wanted a fancy wedding, and like your romantic life didn't work out, but you have the financial resources to do it. You've always wanted to wear the dress and do the stuff. I don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This is a little different. Eh? This is a little different, but I think it could be an empowering situation, right? But it is sad if you always wanted a partner or sweetheart tries so hard to find somebody and can never find the right fit. And it just 
There's a difference between giving up and making a conscious decision, I guess. This is the important part. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Sprout my mic. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I also think getting married, doing this kind of thing, is somehow less bad. Not bad, that's not the right word. It makes me less sad seeing this than seeing people who married a... I don't know what it was called. There was like this dating app, not dating app, dating game on their like DS. Like a guy got married to a character on a DS. A different guy got married to a body pillow. That's worse. To me, that's worse. That hurts more. This doesn't hurt as much as that. Those, oof. In that case, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and sweetheart. You may now kiss the... Oh my god, this is so dramatic. I object. Stop this wedding immediately. This is so much drama. <laughs> oh! Aubrey! Don't do this, sweetheart. The wedding, this wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. I would say that some of the other things that were going on in this castle was more, was taking it too far as far as the narcissism, but if this is the thing, okay, I mean, whatever. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here. Guards, guards. Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's going to send us attention again. Humph. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was young. I was a young princess once. I, too, once thought that there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. Is it because of the space boyfriend situation? Is that what happened? I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to love from now on is myself. Now guards, seize her. Um, hero, I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero! Oh no. My hero has come for me. She changed her tune awfully fast. I'm never gonna love anybody. Oh wait, are you available? Okay. <laughs> oh my sweet hero. Oh, was it? Was it space boyfriend stuff? Or was it that she liked hero on the show and then he rejected her and she was like, I can't face rejection. I'll never do it again. A lot of questions. I knew you wouldn't leave me all alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Although it may be over between us, my heart has still not yet forgotten you. I will give you one last chance. Marry me, hero, here and now. And do so and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that, that's crazy. We don't even know each other. Is she gonna fight us in the bride wedding dress? I want this so badly. What's this? You reject me? Again? <laughs> but how could this be? It's called playing the game of love, sis. I don't understand. Oh, ho, ho. I feel like I don't need to read it because she does it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Now you've done it. You've broken her. Ah, yes. I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But what happened between her and Space Boyfriend? It seems you are jealous of me, just like everyone else. Yes, that must be it. My dazzling looks. My charming smile. My gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well, there's no need to despair anymore. I feel like people who can't handle rejection, it's that, or they were gay anyway. Like, they were gay, so it wasn't. Those are the main two, Nay. <laughs> I will end your suffering. 
personally. I am so excited about this. Come at me, sweetheart. Oh, she changed. Farewell, Mr. Opeons. Oh my god, it's one of those ball and chains. That's cool. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever. This is the picture from her room! Sweetheart is cool. You know, like, she's not a good person, and uh, she's a lot, but she's one of those villains you just can't uh, hate. She's very exciting, right? She's cool. Sweetheart's cool. Alright. Um... We better, we better play smart here. Let's get sad. Uh, let's do that. I'm gonna have you make her mad. We're, then we're gonna go our old traditional route here. Here we go. Okay, Miss Aubrey, that's cool. It's nice that Aubrey said something, you know? This kind of thing is sad. You don't want people feeling like this, man. We barely did any damage to her. I just want to point that out. But, you know, it's, oh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Do we have stuff we could use? Um. Let's rubber band her. Why not, you know? I feel like Hero will need to heal the next run through, but right now we're okay. She slapped her! She missed, but she's tried to slap her. I'd rather have you try to slap me than use that heart thing. It's a good weapon, though. A pink, like, magical girl wand that has a little freaking spiky thing at the end. You gotta love that, right? It's cool. <laughs> Sweetheart's cool! If I was a- no, I don't know. I wouldn't- I- I take it back. Um... I don't know if I want to make her mad. Right? I think- I think we're just gonna keep rubber banding her. I'm scared of this next attack, though. It's pointless, you fools! You cannot dampen my positive energy. I also want Sweetheart to be like 45 years old. Like, she looks like she's 12 or something, but she's actually, like, 45. I feel like that's the kind of person Sweetheart would be. <laughs> oh, she's happy. Sweetheart's cool. I like, yeah. Oh, okay, she can't be sad or angry. Okay. Oof, that one hurt. That one hurt Aubrey a little bit, didn't it? Okay, Aubrey, Aubrey is in danger, girl. I believe in, in pushing her defense down, for sure. Okay. I'm gonna... They should probably be fine. I'm gonna have... Oh, we can't do it. I'm gonna have Hero heal just Aubrey. Uh... Oh, we can do the juice too, right? Yeah. Oh no, Aubrey! Dang it. I feel like I'm always killing off Aubrey. It's not a good thing, man. Aubrey's always the one to bite the dust first. You dare raise your fists at me! Fools! You should be groveling on your knees! Okay. Well, you know, maybe later. Who knows how this is gonna go. Oh! I wish you had given it to literally anybody else, but okay. Oh, we needed the juice, I guess. Whatever. Um... While we're sad, I'm gonna still... I'm gonna still have him do this. Maybe? Bring him... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have... Where is it? Wait, what is tomato? Oh, we already have this before. Okay, never mind. This is not a new item, I just forgot. Life jam! And you are going to give the tea... to Cal. I appreciate that she's slapping us more than using the full attack that hits everybody. Because, you know, that's not so great for me. Yeah, so, thanks. What kind of tea? That's the main question. Those are- I'm asking the real important questions. This music is so- this music is so jazzy and it reminds me of like, I don't know, like a really hard DDR song. I like it. I like it. You know what? 
don't want to bring back Aubrey again. We're going to tea time. No, maybe we should do ourselves. We're kind of low. Oh, we cannot. We have to pick someone else. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, see? The mace. That's what that's what weapons are called. It's called the mace. The mace right in the face. We're, we have a ten. I see it. You see it? I see it. We're gonna do the thing. Oh! My beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. Sweeter became ecstatic. Oh, she's so happy. She's turning pink and yellow. We need to do the all-out attack thing. Right. We're in 10. I also need to learn the words of how this is actually called. Oh, thank god. Okay. Yeah, heal Aubrey. Aubrey's still hurting, don't they? Can we not do it because we're sad? I don't understand why we couldn't do it before, but we'll keep stabbing her, I suppose. Uh... I don't know if I want Hero to die. I want you to keep doing your thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk Hero's life a little bit. Uh, but that's okay, I think. We'll see. Oh, you know what? I think we can do one of these. Oh, these are juice, just kidding. I need I need one of like heals health to multiple people. Ooh, combo meal. Hmm. Ooh, 100 to all friends. We don't think we need that. Let's do this one. We have a lot of popcorn. Oh, Aubrey! Aubrey, hang in there, Aubrey! Okay. When she just slaps, it's nice. nice. I appreciate it when she does that. <laughs> I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose they are. They're also gross. Sweeter became manic! Okay, her defense is super low, which is good. I feel like Aubrey's gonna die if she gets hit again, though. We, she's still in the danger zone, right? You know what? Let's... Um... But she could use, like, a hundred or something. We'll give the nachos to, to Aubrey. Um... We should head, have her head bug. How are we doing? Do think we're, I, think, I feel like we're doing okay, right? I think so. Um, let's give some juice. Oh, her attack whiffed, but Hero took damage. What was it? Just laughing? Oh, the everyone's angry now. Just kidding. Okay. Dull attack me. It's okay. I'll take it, even if it's a dull attack. We got this, I feel like we got this, right? I think so. Oh, we have no juice. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little juice. I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous about not having any juice. Maybe you should eat something. I don't want you dying. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh, she missed. Release energy! Release energy! Here we go! We got this. This might be- this is probably it, right? So, you- you can only do those thingies if you're doing a regular attack, then, eh? I think so. I feel like these are things I should have already known by at this point in the game, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I think we are higher level than maybe we're supposed to be, but for me that works out. No! Is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants! Well, peasants won out in the end! I have so much experience. I learned painful truth! Oh dear! What's the painful truth? We'll have to find out after... Oh, ho, ho, ho! How could this be? You... You're all nothing! How dare you defy me! Okay, question. Is this a rug? Is this an indentation in the floor? It's probably a rug. Throw them in the dungeon! Guards! Guards! 
It's over, sweetheart. The wedding is canceled. No, I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. Hmm. <laughs> my sweetheart! Oh, my sweetheart, I am so relieved that I made it in time. Who was in the elevator? It wasn't him! Clearly! You must stop this madness at once. Captain Space Boy! You! You idiot! I thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again. Oh, sweetheart. My sweetheart. My sweet jelly filled donut. Please, look into your heart and give me another chance. I should not have kept you waiting all those days. <laughs> this is cute and I like this. You. What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. sweetheart right here on this very stage oh my this this is all so sudden how 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 romantic sprout mole mike i order you to marry us immediately yes at once my liege dearly beloved we are gathered here to oh forget the formalities mike true love cannot wait yes my princess ahem by the power vested in me i now pronounce you Sweetheart and space husband. Space husband? <laughs> no longer boyfriend. Upgrade to husband. You may now kiss the bride. I like that it's censored. It's hilarious. Oh, sweetheart. Let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I will go anywhere as long as it is with you. I like those. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We have been apart for much too long. Come, my ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there is one last thing I must do. Sprout my mic. Hand me the button. At once, my queen. The button. The button. We won't need all this anymore. Is she gonna blow it up? Why did she blow up half the stage? It's just a floor. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen. Our chariot waits. I like these two. It's cute. Bye. How you feeling, Mike? Okay. Oh. Okay. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's going to end well at all. Hey, you know what? Maybe it won't, but right now they're happy and let's just uh, leave it at that. Yeah? <laughs> Gotta take it where you can. Yeah. I guess this was a complete waste of time. Was it? I think it enriched our lives. Yeah, and our bond with our friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves have improved. Cool. So oh, no. There's nothing in the hole? I thought something would be... I thought we could drop down in the hole. I don't know. I thought she was going to blow up the whole castle, honestly. We can't run, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something's going to come out of the hole. <sighs> Someone went in the hole, Basil. Shadow Basil? Do you think we're going to wake up soon? We've been asleep for a while, right? What's the matter, Omori? Is there something wrong? Yeah. We got to go back over there. Hmm? It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yeah, I think. I don't know. What's gonna be down here? We're dev we're we're head firsting it, really? That seems safe. 
where'd they go? We woke up. Maybe? If this was me, I would wake up before I hit the bottom. Where the heck are we? In like a library? What are these? A white eager orchid! Oh, oh, oh! In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. We saw this one, remember? This is a basil flower. Mountains of books forgotten through time. The keepers of the library have long since passed. No, they weren't called that. I just made that up. I wish they were there. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt? No, not yet. Not yet. Don't do anything crazy. This is our house. Right? Or that looks like our part of our house. Not all of this, but... Okay, let's just do it. Let's read it. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. The beach will, like, zap your life force out of you. You know what I mean? Hmm? Was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Mm's head accidentally drops onto Mm's shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Is that excerpt? Yeah, it is. Why is this a memory we cannot put everyone's name to? Okay, I guess we should just go down. Let's go down. Maybe it's just me looking at stairs and thinking it's the same. It's, I don't think this is our house name. <laughs> in here a puddle of juice sinks into the carpet oh no hovering above it is none other than mm -hmm, holding an open juice box why do i feel like this is kel's fault he looks around at his friends who are all wearing the same face of disappointment he lets out a guilty chuckle in what seems like less than a second mm -hmm, disappears out to the front door a tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet Mm's face turns red and yells for mm, but mm is already gone. Mm hands mm some wet paper towels. Like it's if it's four I don't know the one that was only one was confusing to me. But these could Hito and Madi are four, and Kel is three. It looks like they're only they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. And get all like crunchy and nasty and no one wants that. They'll have to deal with mm, later. Hmm. Like, why are these memories? Here. Because they're all with our friends and our friends aren't together in the real world now. I think... I was thinking about this. I feel like when you're not friends with... Oh god, it's so dark in this side. When you're not friends with somebody anymore, or like you have a falling out or you grow away, or this kind of thing that happened where you were close when you were kids and then now you're like, not? I don't know. I think it depends on the person. But I feel like immediately after, or like after Madi died, I'm sure these are also painful, you can't look at it. But I think at some point you get to a point where you feel like happy that you had any of it to begin with, as opposed to feeling sad that it's not there anymore. 
I think that takes a lot of time, especially if it's a traumatic thing like this Mahdi situation. I think it can take a long time, but I think it's possible to get there. Or some people never get there, I suppose. It was a hot summer day and mm, all mm, could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to mm, and mm, spark. One, two, three, four, five, six. All day, mm, watched mm, lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's to pick up, from his dad's pickup truck. He watched mm, hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour had passed since mm, had climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, mm, thought as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The tree house is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Mm, knows in this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. So, do you think the, mm, the, 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 mm, like I'm doing that for everybody. The one is Sunny? He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Summer sucks. <laughs> We've talked about how much I hate summer. Okay, well. I think that's it, man. That was like us, but white, right? Wearing like a white clothes. Let's, let's read this one, I guess. This year, M was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, M would gaze listlessly through the opening at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead, his mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. I can't sit next to a window in class, I will do this. Then why am I in class? It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Mm, stayed vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Mm, looks away from the opening. Mm, smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It has to be Sunny and this is Kel. The problem is Hito and Madi are four. No, Aubrey is six. Basil is five. Never mind. It's pizza day today and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Mm, stomach's growl. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have he would have to continue his adventure another day. After food. Ne after food. I don't like the sound the spider webs make, but it sounds very spider. You know what I mean? It's good it's good sound design. You hear that sound and you go, oh no. Spooters. I think so. Alright. I feel like it's so big I don't want to make sure I want to make sure I get every little piece. Every little morsel, ne. I like this area very much. I didn't say it before, but I do. Okay, here we go. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Mmm, jumps first. Then, mm, then mm, again. Yeah. Right? It has to be. The brothers gleefully urge Sunny to, uh, to join them, and after some careful thought, mm, warily agrees. We were scared of drowning, right? Mm, shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. Have you ever been scared of swimming? I have never been scared of swimming. Although, one time I almost drowned, and then I was a little bit scared of swimming, but it was more of... I didn't want to go back to the water park versus I don't want to swim. It's one of those, you know, those like big tide pools and it like simulates the, the ocean. I was at the very edge and it was very small and I was like, I could handle it. And then I couldn't, <sighs> I was fine. They didn't have to rescue me. I got to the edge and I pulled myself out, but I thought that's what drowning is like. I almost drowned. <laughs> he feels something crawling on his shoulder and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, mm, loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that's what he believes. Mm, shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Mm. Well, having a spider on your body, not a good thing. A very, very bad thing. So I kind of understand. Yeah. 
you don't want that to happen to you. I would probably do the same. There's all these like secret areas, but then there's nothing there. It makes me feel like, am I missing something? What the heck is this? Oh, it's just a shadow, I think. It looked like a, a mirror. What the heck is that? Wait, I don't wanna go over there. Maybe it's like teleporting us out like Zelda or something. I don't know. L! Taking the L. L. I know it makes the same sound for all of them, but I like to think that it's saying L like really low. Seven keys left. Oh, we got a good, we got a good one. It also opened something up, which I don't want to go over there. Is this, this is multiple words, right? Because I have trouble figuring out where the space is. Is this, this is one word? Something in black? Something. Right? I think so. So we for sure need the C. Because I'm like almost positive that's black. So if we can get the C, hopefully we can open up some other things on here. Okay, good to know. I am a, I, don't, I think we've, have we talked about this? I am like a humongous Wheel of Fortune fan. I enjoy doing those puzzles, like maybe too much. More proof that I am se secretly like an 85 year old woman. Okay. But it's kind of like that, the hangman is kind of like that, so I'm excited. <laughs> Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. Yo, if you're eating breakfast at 7 a.m. that's fancy on a day that's not work, what are you doing with your life? Unless you stayed up and that's like your dinner and you're going to sleep. <laughs> it's the most enjoyable part of every week. And it looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Mm, grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Uh, like, a, what, he played the cello? Wait, violin? He played a stringed instrument, right? I'm pretty sure. It wasn't the cello. It was the smaller. Viola? Whatever. Instead of watching the shows with his friends, he'd be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to put violin. If have to play the violin. Something opened. What, though? What opened? What's that? Where should I go first? This? I'm scared. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole? Yeah. Shoot. I feel like we left and I wanted to go over to the other side. Basil! That thing, we see that thing all the time, right? The thing, the one-eyed thing. Don't forget it's in the toy box and the key. Oh. I'm sad, me woe. I'm so sad. Sometimes you just don't know. I thought maybe we'd look in the hole, but it wouldn't be like... Yeah, let's look in the light bulb. Does it always look like that? It looks like spidery with the little things coming out. Okay, we know what we gotta do. We know what we gotta do, but it doesn't mean I like it. Is there anything else? We haven't been in here for a while, right? Well, I mean, since the last time we did all this. Nothing has changed. The letters did a thing. Did you see that though? Woof, woof, woof. Okay. All right, let's end it. Time to wake up and face the reality of the real world. Nah. We never found out. Oh, well. We never found out what the horrible truth or whatever was, right? Two days left. I feel like this game's going by fast, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know 
what's left for us. I feel like we're not halfway done, though. It's a morning. Good morning. There's always scary things happening in the real world. I mean, that's a true, true fact statement, but you know. What? Stop knocking. Why are you knocking so aggressively? Kel? Hello? I'm assuming. Hello? Sunny? Are you there? Hero's coming back today, right? It's hard to keep track of, like, it's been so long for me since the last time we were, like, not human, when we were in, like, the real world, ne? What would you like to do? Open the door. It's gotta be Kel. Hi, Sunny. Top of the morning to you, hee <laughs> hee. Kiat. Kiat. Oh my god. I wish my neighborhood had cats. It, th There was one cat one time that I saw. A ton of dogs. I'm not hating on dogs. I enjoy a dog. But you can't see the dogs because they're like in the backyard or whatever or like away. Well, more like noon actually. Turns out Hero's not coming back until... Oh until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funnier if we went, or fu funnier, funner, funner, come on, Kel, if we went together. Don't you want to come along, Sunny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Camp. The orange cat looks hungry. Feed it so vicious. No, already fish on you. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta feed that cat. We gotta feed the cat. I guess I shouldn't have saved over that save if I wanted to go back, but too late now, I suppose. Oh. Uh. Kel smells. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it. Must have been Aubrey and the scooter gang. Sunny, be honest. Do I smell? Oh, I thought that was us smelling him. That was him racing. Oh, let me talk to your dog. Hold up, Sunny. I know it's been a while since you've been over to my place. Okay, I know. I just wanted to say hi to your dog. What was his name again? Not Grover. Grover? No. What was his name? What was his name? Hector. 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 Good old Hector. Hold on. There's a thing. Teddy bear. Is that a teddy bear? Ah, uh, debatable. Who are those people? We gotta pick up the tree-ish. Wait, who are you? Wrinkly forehead. Hey pal, it's good to see you. These new recycle cultist folk have, that have been showing up here are making a big change for around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people take an initiative to pick up tree-ish. Makes the whole job a lot easier, haha. -ha. Something about them feels a little fishy though. Yeah. They just disappeared, the children. Okay, great, fantastic. I'm still picking up trash because we I wanna get money. Get money for trash. Let's talk to everybody, you know what? Let's talk to everybody. Hey bub, could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Um I'll give you ten bucks. Are you sure you wanna donate ten? Yeah, sure. You have donated ten dollars to Smelly Hobo. Thank you kindly. Hey, bub. Thanks for helping me. You've been a real friend. So, I got something special for you. Oh. Hold out your hands for me and close your eyes. Okay. What is it? You feel something cold in your palms. You got a gold watch. Oh. Yeah, like it. Since you've been so gracious, I thought I could spare you some of my wares. Hehe. <laughs> That's real gold there, I swear it. I doubt it, but thanks anyway, sir. Doubtful. But I will take it. Well, life's been pretty stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. Okay, let me make it to cover. Okay. I think he said this last time, right? I'm pretty sure now. This is why I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> yes. Revenge! Okay. I 
I have to redeem myself. I haven't won a single round this whole time. Come on. Come on, Rose lad. Take you down. Oh my god. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Please? I WANT SOMETHING! <laughs> Rose lad, are you okay? There, there. You take a good rest now. Haha, <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for challenging me. I guess I need to train Rose lad a little bit more. I don't get anything, but it's fine. You just beat up Rose lad, I don't like that. But, we gotta beat that dude in the basement or whatever. That- that guy I didn't like. I was so angry to lose to him. Hello, youngins. Yes, give me- give me money. Thanks. I don't like to talk to you, but I'll talk to you. Pick this up. There's so much to... There's Basil! Wait, hold on. Before we talk to Basil. What are you? Wow, that is a nice view. Okay. Are you looking at apple juice, man? Or are you just looking at everything? You flipping burgers? That's a skill, you know? All-American guy. Oh, we know him. Phew. Making patties is hard work. But once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's gonna all be worth it. Hmm. I can almost taste it now. The taste of cow flesh. Not flesh. I guess it's just muscle. I don't, I don't think people eat the flesh of cows. Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Oh, shoot. Thanks, hon. That was close. Grilling is a very important American pastime, ne? I think especially for like middle of America. I have relatives from middle of America and all they want to do is grill. Everyday grill. We go to a family thing, they want to grill every day. I can't eat anything. <laughs> they grill like vegetables, but basically it's just onions. So then I, I ask them to grill things and then they're like, what the heck is this? It's called mushrooms. Like big one, like a shiitake or something. It's a different culture. It's a different culture, ne? Hi, Kel and Sunny. If you see any seashells, oh, yes. Can you bring them to me? Yes, yes. They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure. Yes, yes. I know you. I remember you. Wait, are those pies? Oh my god. Pies. Award-winning pie. Why do you have three pies? I like that the family did a thing together, though. That's cute. Hello. Cough. A hyuk? A hyuk? Okay. Oh, ah. Uh. Today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I might not have any money, but at least that sunlight is free. Okay. Ugh. So anyways, lads. Could you spare me some change during this hard time? I'll give you ten bucks. Yeah. Old hobo. Thanks, good lads. I'll be sure to pay you back somehow. A uh, yuck? A uh, yuck? What are you, goofy? Okay, let's... Well, you know what? Let's talk to Basil first. Hi! Hey, Cal. Hey. Sunny. Sup, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom. Uh, oh, right. Uh, yes, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know? I don't know. Come on, Basil! Maybe tomorrow. Come on, Basil! Sorry. Basil? Basil is the kind that you want to just push to your body. Pick them up. Put them down. Feed them dinner. Wrap them in a blanket. Feed them ice cream. Cuddle and nuzzle them forever. Biological sun them. Yes. I think so, I think so. Oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Come on, Basil, we... I have many a question for you, Basil. I want to spend more time with Basil. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. 
Basil, Basil. We've been going for a bit. I feel like this is a good place to stop since we have this and I don't know what's in store for us out in the real world. But I like don't want to because this game pulls me in so bad. But I think we should stop here for today, ne? Oh, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I love this game so much. I feel like the more it grows, my love for it grows and grows. It'll be interesting. So this time we'll meet Hiro. I wonder how he's going to be. Honestly, I really wonder how he's going to be. Because Ar the time we met Aubrey, she was like so different. I feel like Basil is basically the same. It's just that he is very, like, I guess more anxious. I don't know what I was going to say before. Because like in the dream world, before he went missing, he was very, I felt like he was sort of like the sweet honey glue that kind of held people together. Like everybody loved Basil, Basil got along with everybody. But now I feel like he's the one that's the most isolated. Well, Aubrey's isolated in a different way though, Nick. There's like this, I don't want you to see the thing. I have a lot of questions about what's going on with all of that, but like doesn't want to spend time. Aubrey was like turned into bad pink haired girl or whatever. What the heck is going to happen to Hiro? I have no idea. And it'll be interesting to see if they talk about Mari with Hiro and how all that went. Nah. Lots to uncover. I feel like the in real life segments, you learn a lot kind of quickly. So looking forward to it. Nah. So until I see whatever I see you next, remember to be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care and I'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye.